So the problem mainly was with the dining kitchen area, which was north facing, so it was very dark and cold, and we felt we weren't really using it to its best advantage, really. So we met with Lisa and had a meeting and looked at a number of different options. Um, one of them was more obvious to us as the right thing to do. We felt we didn't particularly want completely open plan um, living, but what we've got is mainly open plan, but people can cut themselves off if they want to, um, and making better use of what was an empty, get well, a garage. So we've now got a downstairs loo and utility area, which has been great. So we had our initial meeting with Lisa and then obviously made decisions related to that and then they helped us with planning permission and then I admit we then sat on it for really quite a long time because we weren't quite sure what to do at that point um, and then eventually, it was probably a year or so later, um, got round to, well, through just getting on with it um, which felt like a really big step but um, was really well worth it in the end. Okay. So Pride Road presented us with a much more functional space as a family for what we wanted and needed um, and obviously a year down the line we realised it was absolutely spot on. Um, it's just made the whole of life much more functional from dealing with bikes and kits and dirty wet kits through to actually having a general um, comfortable living area and space where a buddy particularly during lockdown, um, has had their own little places that they can go to. Um, it's just worked really well for us. Okay. Yes, we're really pleased. Um, our favourite part of the house has to be the kitchen and living area and the fact that we've been able to make use of that and the garden, particularly over this past year when we spent perhaps more time at home than we would normally have done. Um, it's just worked really well for us as a family. 